Hello guys, so in this video we are going to cover the one of the method which we can use to design the schema for reddit like comments. Let's see that. So today in this video we are going to cover this one basically nested set model. So hopefully you guys already know like how the how the comment system like work for example let's say um, let's say there is a comment here which is let's say a so it can have a reply of b then it can have a reply of c then it can have a reply of d then it can have a reply of e something like that so in this way you can have a nested structure of comments so now now we are going to see how we can store it in the mysql database basically in the rdbms database so one of the method which we can use to store this kind of a nested structure in the and uh, the in the mysql is nested set model <clears throat> so today we are going to see how that how the table looks like for that and how we can actually store it so if we go for the table so in the table they, there is going to be one id uh, which is going to be the primary key it's going to be unique for every comment i mean it's you can say kind of it's a comment id the other two most useful thing are left and right so if we go here we will have three things to store this entire architecture of this abc and all that thing we will have three things okay one is the id it's going to be a primary key other one is going to be left okay again it's going to be an integer next one is going to be a right okay now now let's see how we will store this given entire a b c d e structure in this given way okay now let's go through it the way we store it is if we want to store this entire tree into this uh, mysql table by using the nested set model nested set model then we will have to traverse this let's see how we will traverse this we will start with one we will say that hey the left of this a will be one okay we will go to the depth now if we go to the depth which is b now we will say hey the left of b will be two consider left and right as a variable instead of visualizing it into the tree okay that will make more sense for you for now at least okay so let's say initially we started with this one a we initialize the left value of a to 1 we initialize the left value of b which is the child of a to 2 then we go to more depth which is d here we assign the value of value to d sorry the left value of d is equal to 3 what we are doing whenever we are going to the depth we are always incrementing the value of the left and we are storing it to a particular node so for a the left is 1 for b the left is 2 for d so the left is 3 now at the time of backtracking only we store the right value if you see in the table as we have mentioned this one this one second yeah this one yeah here if you see left and right both are there Till now we have only only, um, only stored left value of every node. What about right value? Right, we store the right value only at the time of backtracking. So now we will start backtracking from D to B. Yes. At this point of time, we will store the right value of D. Again, we will increment the one value. Right. Okay. We will backtrack to B. Now we will go to E again. Sorry. Now we will go to E first time. Now the value of l will be what 5 every time you change either left to right or uh, you change the node you always increment the value when you assign it basically now e does not have any child at all so again at the time of backtracking you will say the value of r is 6 for e now comes to b b does not have any more child this is the time to backtrack now so now the value of v will be assigned so the r value will be this basically okay now we will go to a a have still and some more child to figure it out now we will go to c same thing l will be what last value which we used was was what seven so now it will be eight. c does not have any child at all so the right will be nine and backtracking the right will be what 
okay so this is how we are going to store this entire table now let's see how the table will look like okay i will just say let's say uh, id here okay then we can say basically here we have l here we have write id for now we can use the value itself as an id id can be anything it just needs to be unique even you can use the incrementer of database so for now i will just go with it c d e okay what is the left of a the left of a is 1 and it is 10 b it is 2 and 7 for um, c it is uh, 8 and 9 for d it is 3 and 4 for e it is 5 and 6 now think how we will drive the entire comments basically how we will drive the comments basically we have got we have got this table we have this existing table in our system now whenever anyone goes to the reddit page it clicks on show comments or it like comes up randomly default how the query will work here to get all the comments here simple thing basically now to fetch all the nested comments of a of a this a let me change this one to of this a what we will say hey get all the rows where the left is either equivalent or greater than one and the right is actually lesser than or equivalent to 10. once you get all the nodes you will be able to fetch out all the nested comments of that table okay let's see more simple example okay here, here we have mentioned here we have only two level tree basically in the same table if you see this one same thing happening which we have just discussed okay now if you want to fetch all the table all the entire comments which was stuck with particular root this root we are just going to query based on this one hey get uh, say hey left should be equivalent to one and greater than one and uh, root sorry the right should be lesser than 10 and should be either equivalent to 10 so in that way we will get the entire subtree nested comments of a so if you want to fetch all the nested comments which were under a we can directly fetch it we just need to know this what we will say is hey find the id of this a what is the id of this a it is this id what is the left and right hey left is 1 right is 10 this is how you can get the entire subtree of this thing basically okay so this is how it actually works so now let's see how we can uh, see hey now we are able to fetch all the data from the database it's fine it's cool but hey how are we going to create the entire subtree because whatever data we are getting from the um, from the database it's in the in the form of row and we cannot see any direct relationship between all these tables so how we are going to actually generate the entire tree so if we normally see how we will generate a simple thing we will start with one <coughs> okay one. hey what is one it's a so definitely it's clear that the root will be a now where is 2? Hey, 2? 2 is in B. That means B will be the child of this one. Where is 3 now? 3 is here. That means D will be the child of this B. It's D now. Yeah. So if you see here A, B, D. Till now we are fine. Now. Hey, 4. Hey, we do not have the 4 in, um, in the left. That means there is no child of this d at all clear now next thing what we are going to do we will check 4 will be definitely here at the time of backtracking now we need to see 5 where is 5 5 is here the value of 5 is what it's e so we will assign e here e is here which is 5 what is the after 5 it's 6 say there is no row which is having left as a left as a 6 that means e does not have any child 
So now we are going to find out the value of 7. Are we able to see the 7 or not? When we say 7, that means we have backtracked here at the B. <clears throat> hey, 7 is also there, not there in the left. That means we again need to backtrack. Now comes to A, which is 8. <clears throat> Do we have any entry of 8? Yes, we have. So this is how we can regenerate the entire table, sorry, entire uh, tree by using this uh, rows which we are storing in the MySQL database in the format of nested set model. I will show you the code also how we can do it. Let's go through that. Now let's go through the code uh, by which we can, I mean, I, we, we are not going to actually go through the code. I'm just going to show you the code how you can actually convert this entire uh, you can you can say it like saying it hey converting the tree into the flattening the basically nested format uh, if you think in, in terms of the lead core problem this is like saying we are given a tree and you need to flatten that uh, flatten this entire nested structure into a single array format something like that basically and now you have got this array format now you need to convert it back to the tree format Okay, so this is the code that we, we can do it basically. So basically we are using the stack and a for loop kind of on line number 13 where we are, this is how we are going to track, create the entire tree. Okay. Now, uh, this code, I will drop this entire code into the sub stack uh, into, uh, uh, so all those guys who have subscribed to this sub stack to my, the lntcoding.com I will I add the link in the, des in the description. I will add the code into into the group into the internal group of the substack so there you will be able to see this entire code and you can go through it okay so this is how we can use this nested set model to store our nested our entire architecture sorry the comment nested comment structure into the mysql you can say this is kind of a way of a flattening the entire structure and then deflatting it so all that part now, what are the issues with this? It's very clear. You saw that how we were assigning the left and right value. So if let's say tomorrow a new value came up under E, let's say F here, we are done. We will have to recalculate entire left and right tree. Basically, all the rows needs to be updated. So as it mentioned, requires recalculating the left and right value for, for many nodes. Whenever there is going to be an update, we will have to update the left and right value for all those nodes which are dependent on that particular insertion. So that's why insertion and update in this entire nested format or the comments, it's going to be very, very tricky. So this is a very big issue here. Okay, let's say tomorrow anyone can say I want to add a comment, I want to reply to the comment of C. They will add it here. That means now we will have to recalculate a part of this entire tree. We have to recalculate the subtree of this entire tree. Because see, left half will be remain same. There will be no issue on the left half, but right half will be uh, the, if there are some more nodes around C and all that thing, that will be entirely subtree. So this is these are the disadvantages of these this nested uh, model. There are other three models also. Okay, we are going to we are going to cover all those three models again in different different videos. So for today. I think um, we have covered everything in this one. I will drop the link of the of the Substack into the description. Okay. Yeah. From there you can subscribe and in the internal channel you will find all the other details like code and some more things.